Hello everyone, you're watching Newegg TV, and my name is Steve, and today I'm going to talk to you about a brand new SSD from Samsung. This is the brand new 850 EVO. It's using the world's first 3D VNAND with TLC. So let's take a look. All right, so we'll start with a quick look at the front of the box, and as I mentioned before, it is using TLC or 3-bit NAND, and uh, something important about that I should mention if you're thinking to yourself, oh, doesn't that reduce the, the longevity or the endurance of the NAND on this drive? And, uh, and that might be the case when comparing it to 3D VNAND, uh, but Samsung stating that the 32-layer 3D VNAND flash actually has more than twice the endurance of standard 2D planar NAND. Uh, that is the standard type of NAND used for SSDs before the invention of 3D VNAND. Um, that's actually phenomenal. Um, basically, we didn't know what the effect would be uh, increasing it effectively from MLC to TLC. Um, but that, that's, that's pretty damn awesome. Also, mean time between failures, uh, we're looking at 1.5 million hours. On the 120 gigabyte and the 250 gigabyte SSDs, they're both rated for 75 terabytes written or 40 gigabytes a day. On the 500 gigabyte and the one terabyte drives, the other, the other two versions of the capacities that are out there, uh, they're rated for 150 terabytes uh, written per day or 80 gigabytes a day. Um, for, for five years, which is an increase on the 840 EVO's warranty, which was actually three years. So that's amazing. Let's start with the stuff that comes inside the box. First and foremost, we have the software from Samsung. This is their magician utility. Uh, it's going to be included with the other utilities that might be on this disc. Uh, the 850 Pro started with this. It's going to come with Rapid Mode 2.0. That stands for real-time accelerated processing of I/O data. Basically, just allows you to set aside some system memory to help force feed the SSD and basically increase your read performance. Uh, it's got a new uh, algorithm for DRAM usage, with uh, which Samsung is stating is going to lead to much faster Windows startup and app load times. Uh, on top of that, they're also providing you with the warranty information here. And we also have the installation guide describing to you exactly on how you need to take care of the installation yourself if you are so inclined, which I recommend that you do. And here's the actual SSD itself. Um, it's, it's nice, it's black, it's got a metal casing on it. It's, it's from Samsung, which makes me really want to buy one right now, actually, because <laughs> it's, it's actually very fast in the benchmarking that we'll get to in just a moment. Uh, but I want to talk to you about uh, power efficiency for a second. Obviously, SSDs are, are very power efficient, but if you compare this to the 850 EVO, Samsung uh, has improved its power efficiency by about 30% on write operations. Uh, it's also consuming about half the power of 2D NAND cousins, uh, basically the regular style of, of NAND basic SSDs without 3D VNAND. Uh, it's also providing some updates to the controller for device sleep. Uh, when the OS puts this drive uh, to sleep, the 120 and 250 gig as well as the 500 gigabyte models all enter an efficient sleep mode using only 2 milliwatts. The 1 terabyte model uses only 4 milliwatts. And obviously all of this is going to lead to increased battery life for your notebooks and your laptops out there. Alright, so I've removed the screws from the chassis and we can show you what's on the inside, which is that lovely PCB and the actual core components of the SSD. So let me go ahead and pull that out real quick so we can take a closer look at it. Uh, of course, the green section, that's the PCB, right? Uh, and of course, on top we have all the, the core componentry. We have the 3D VNAND package chip here. We also have the, um, the actual controller here from Samsung, Samsung. And we also have what I believe is SLC NAND, uh, which is going to perform uh, the caching that's required to get this, this drive just flying. Um, so in the middle here, we have Samsung's MGX controller. Uh, that is the same controller that they're using for all the capacities except for the one terabyte uh, drive version. The one terabyte SSD uses Samsung's MEX controller, which you're familiar with. I'm not really sure why they didn't use MFX and, and keep with the same nomenclature, but uh, uh, for whatever reason, they did not. Now, the controller is, is helping this drive because it's got a couple different features in there I want to mention. First and foremost, it's a self-encrypting drive, so it has AES 256-bit uh, full disk encryption uh, built in, as well as TG TCG Opal version 2 spec certified, and that's going to help you out adding a layer of protection from data theft uh, and enable uh, enterprise uh, use with this drive as well. Uh, so Also, it also offers turbo write technology, which is going to take advantage of what I believe is that SLC um, memory for super fast caching and help boost the sequential write speed. Uh, so yeah, aside from that, the controller itself is running on firmware version EMT01B as in boy 6Q, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be performance changes with newer firmware updates in the future, but as it stands right now, that's what we're using for the benchmarks. And speaking of benchmarks, let's jump into it. 
All right, we're going to start the benchmarks up with a look at the test bed. I am using the Intel Core i7-4960X with 16 gigabytes of, quad, of a quad-channel kit of memory from G-Skill, the Trident DDR3 memory to be specific, at uh, 2400 megatransfers per second. It's also on an Asus Rampage 4 Formula X79 motherboard. Uh, I am using Intel's Rapid Storage Technology Enterprise Edition version 3.6.0.1094 on the Samsung SSD, uh, specifically the 120 gigabyte capacity. So moving right along, we have a disk speed test from Blackmagic Design. This test is designed to let you know how well your drive could be used uh, in a video editing setting at certain resolutions and uh, certain color depths. So the read speed here, we have 505 uh, megabytes per second. The write speed we're looking at 431. Uh, something interesting I should mention, other than the fact that these ch the green check marks mean they're going to work for those particular resolutions and color depths, and the X's aren't. Aside from that, though, we actually saw a bit of uh, fluctuation here. If I show you the next slide, uh, the write speed dropped down from 431 to 363, and that's probably just because. Uh, the the caching of the drive is is actually filling the buffer is filling and then having to dump out and it's affecting the write speed, but uh, uh, overall the drive still performs really well. Uh, other than that small caveat, so moving on to Addo Disk Benchmark, uh, manufacturers like to use this benchmark because it it basically shows them some of the best numbers. It's also pretty consistent. I have it currently set to QDEP four, so it's it's more than what you'd probably be using at home. Uh, QDEP one or, or two possibly is is more likely for everyday usage. Uh, for just allowing the uh, the controller to stack up a, a queue here and, and run through and give it give it a run for its money. Uh, we're looking at a maximum throughput here on the right of, it looks like, 524 megabytes per second. No, 526 megabytes per second, excuse me. Uh, and then we're looking at reads maxing out at 559 megabytes per second. Uh, if we jump into uh, Q depth of 32, this is where the, or it's Q depth of 10, excuse me, this is where the drive can really stack up data and, or stack up commands and just run like hell. Uh, we're looking at 527 megabytes per second on the writes and 557 megabytes per second on the reads. Samsung's telling us that the maximum uh, sequential reads is, is at 540 and 520. Uh, so it's definitely pulling that off in a little bit more in, in some cases. So let me go ahead and jump into the next benchmark. We are looking at Crystal Disk Mark version 3.03, 64-bit version. And uh, I have some numbers here for you, starting with the sequential reads and writes, 521 megabytes per second on the reads, and writes we're looking at 505 megabytes per second. We also have some random read and write numbers here. I'm going to jump down to the IOPS uh, for that. Uh, QDEP1, we're seeing 10,000 um, input output operations per second and uh, on the reads. And then on the writes, random, we're looking at 27,000 uh, at QDEP1. Then jumping into uh, random read and write at QDEP32, we're looking at 98,000 and 87,000 uh, respectively. That's 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 pretty hefty. Uh, Samsung is also saying that it's it's going to max out at 94,000 uh, IOPS on a 120 gigabyte version. Uh, not much difference between the 250 and the 500, as well as the one terabyte. But uh, 97,000 for the 250, 98,000 for the 500 gigabyte and one terabyte. <laughs> Um, uh, Tina's dying in the background right now. She can't believe these numbers either. Okay, we've gotten Tina some emergency assistance here. She's going to be all right, everybody. Don't worry too much about her. Um, we're jumping into the AS SSD benchmark now. Uh, sequential uh, reads and writes here on the top at the left. Uh, it's the exact same numbers on the right here, except converted over to IOPS. So we're going to start with sequential read and writes, looking at 506 megabytes per second on the reads, 497 megabytes per second on the writes. Uh, and then access time, we're looking at 0 0.035 and 38. I mean, that's, that's incredibly low, um, even for an SSD. It's giving a total score, though, of 941 um, on, on AS SSD. Uh, but yeah, you can see here the IOPS here for random 4K 64 thread. We're looking at 93,000 uh, on the read, 23,000 on the right, and uh, that, that's, that's a bit low on the right. That could be because AS SSD is, is just sort of torturing the drive and that buffer just keeps getting full. And moving right along to AS SSD copy benchmark, this is a synthetic benchmark meant to uh, kind of give you an idea of what it would be like to copy over 
an ISO or install a program or install games. Uh, so we're looking at speeds of 419 megabytes per second, 292 megabytes per second, and 380 megabytes per second, respectively. All right, guys, so that's just about going to wrap up this video about Samsung's brand new 850 Evo SSD. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget, if you like videos just like this, want to check out our YouTube channel, which is at youtube.com forward slash Newegg. And until then, see you guys soon.